Welcome back to the channel and uh, thanks for visiting if this is, this is your first time. A little while ago I posted a video up here about a comparison between the new ELEC Ham It Up um, HF converter and the RSPDX from SDR Play. That's a lot of acronyms, right? And I had a comment from a viewer uh, that was somewhat condescending, I must say. And, uh, but he may be right. He said, I basically didn't know what I was doing. I should be using something like SDR console to, um, uh, to compare the two because then both would be compared on the same platform. So what I did in that video was I used SDR sharp for the, for the ham it up and SDR uno for the RSPDX. Now the reason I used SDR sharp because at the time that the ham it up came out, and the RTL SDR dongle came out, SDR Sharp was kind of a, a de facto standard at that time. So, and SDR Uno is the, the native software that is supplied with the RSPDX. So I didn't think any differently of it, but I thought, well, let's try SDR console. I'd never used it before. And uh, yeah, so here's a comparison of the two on the same platform. Let's start off by comparing the RSPDX and the Hammett Up. Starting with the RSPDX, setting the IF to 2 MHz on each. And uh, we're going to look at WWV on 10 MHz. And uh, notice our, our, uh, our meter is set to measure dBm. We're going to use 21 uh, dB for RF gain and uh, now on the uh, RSPDX and in SDR Uno you can set the IF gain as long as the AGC is off. So we'll set it to minus 55 as a reference. And you'll notice uh, the signal strength is kind of in the 70, minus 70 to minus 80 dBm range and uh, there's some deep fades in there of course. but. In general, it's in that range and even gets up into the minus 60s, uh, 67, 67, 68 dBm range. So let's switch over now to the Hammett Up. Again, same IF bandwidth. And now we have to dial up to 100 and, uh, 35 megahertz because the uh, up converter uses 125 megahertz as zero frequency. So there we are, and uh, the RF gain is set just the same as it was, more or less. It's a 20.7 dB, and we're kind of in the minus 80 uh, to minus 90 range for the Hammett up. So it's a little less sensitive with the same RF gain setting. And our AGC is off on this one as well, and you notice that. And there's also a bit of an offset, which I noticed in the other video that I did. In this case, it's only about 10 hertz, but it does vary. And uh, so if we try a higher gain setting, go up to 49, 49.6, you can hear all kinds of adjacent st station intermod. So if we reduce that by about 10 dB, it's still there. And we'll reduce it even further. Take it down to around 32.8 dB. And although it's not really that audible, on occasion, even at that uh, setting, I do hear some intermod depending on uh, what frequency I'm on and where the adjacent stations are. So we'll set that back to 20.7 dB, and that matches closely to our 21 dB that we used on the RSPDX. I wanted to compare how the RSPDX performed on SDR Uno versus SDR Console. So you notice uh, here we're on 10 MHz again. It's approximately the same time that the other one was recorded, so the signal levels won't be far different. You notice we're in the minus 70 
uh, range. So a little less sensitive, it seems, or the signal level's a little lower, even with the, the gain cranked up to maximum and AGC off, um, compared to what we were getting on the SDR console, which was in the six, high 60s, I believe, high minus 60s dBm. So they're similar. The RF gain control in SDR Uno doesn't seem to have an effect on this reading, the, uh, the measured uh, signal st strength in, in dBm. So you notice as, as I crank it down, the number doesn't change much until you really crank it down low, then it's probably dominated by just the noise. But uh, for the most part, throughout the gain control range, the number doesn't change very much um, in terms of uh, signal strength. And I think that's uh, probably because that number is an input referred signal strength number somehow calculated back to the input. So it ignores the RF gain control. When you select the RSPDX, uh, SDR console configures itself to look like SDR Uno. So you get an RF gain control, which uh, we've set to 21 as our default. And you also have IF gain control, which is only available if you turn AGC off. In this case, we're setting it to minus 55 dB to kind of uh, make it equal in sensitivity to the way the hammer up looks. So also have those uh, notch filters for medium wave and FM and digital audio broadcasting. And uh, also you have the selection of antenna input. In this case, we're operating off of the C input. This time we're going to compare the two receivers at 15 megahertz um, WWV. And we've changed the meter over to read signal to noise ratio. So as you can see, uh, with the RSPDX, we've got uh, it's, it's sort of hanging around the uh, low 60s mark when it doesn't fade in terms of uh, signal to noise ratio in dB. And it actually um, peaks up closer to the 67, 68 mark from time to time. And uh, so let's stop that and switch over to the ham it up on the RTL dongle. Again, same IF bandwidth of 2 megahertz. And while I fiddle around here, trying to get this right, forgetting totally that I have to change the frequency over here to 140 megahertz now, uh, which is equivalent to 15 megahertz above the zero frequency, uh, frequency of 125 megahertz for this up converter. And you'll notice we have uh, once again, a bit of an offset on the uh, center frequency, and there we are, about 60 hertz off this time with the ham it up. But the signal to noise ratio is still pretty good. It's uh, they're pretty comparable, even though the sensitivity and the general signal level is lower on the ham it up. Having a look at AM performance now, we're going to pick on a relatively weak. AM signal. We're starting with the RSPDX, and you can you can hear that sound is quiet, but it's clean, and we're only at 21 dB to to match uh, what we would set the Hammett up to. But we're going to go up to 27 now, and uh, it definitely brings up the signal, and it's uh, and it's quite clean. There seems to be no intermod problem there, so we'll stop that and. Uh, try using the ham it up and again same bandwidth for both two megahertz and starting at 20.7 db we can do a little bit of adjustment here for the scale so i think the gain is a bit lower there we are and we're on the same uh, station, which is actually now on 126.010 because of the 125 megahertz um, up converter frequency. It's the same same station, and uh, now if we up the uh, the gain to 28 dB, you notice so similar to what we did just now on the RSPDX, 
But this time it it uh, it overloads and we get a lot of intermod. And even choosing a slightly lower gain, 25.4, we get the same intermod. Conclusions. So the Hammett Up uh, still exhibits a, a bit of a tendency to overload. We saw that on the AM band as uh, as we cranked up the gain. Uh, and it wasn't so evident on the RSPDX um, for the same equivalent uh, gain values. There was also a bit more drift on the uh, on the RS on the Hammett up rather than the RSPDX, which is something we noticed in the previous video. But that's nothing that that couldn't be, you know, compensated for in the software. And there was also an improvement in the the heterodyne issue in the previous video. You could clearly hear this this uh, uh, changing pitch heterodyne as you tuned into an AM station. And that seems to be gone for the most part, strangely enough, just changing software using the SDR console. Um, although I think I did hear a little bit of a low frequency rumble as I was tuning in close to the uh, WWV station. And sensitivity seems to be higher on the RSPDX than on the Hammett Up. But uh, that may be a matter of setup in, in SDR console. The, the two interfaces are quite different because the, of course, the, when you're using RSPDX or any of the SDR play uh, uh, receivers, it, it tends to mimic what SDR Uno software does. So it's, it, the setup is, you know, it's questionable as to whether or not they're set up the same, but there did seem to be a sensitivity difference. However, um, that didn't seem to affect signal to noise ratio. Um, despite the lower sensitivity on the Hammett Up, it still exhibited pretty good signal to noise ratio on AM signals. So there is a reason for the price difference between the two. Um, you know, given the sensitivity difference, the tendency to not overload on the RSPDX as easily as on the Hammett Up. Um, and that little heterodyne issue, which may be a non-issue depending on which uh, software you use. So um, I'll be sticking to SDR Uno for using the RSPDX, and uh, because I think it's a bit more of an interesting interface. I think the SDR console looks a, a little bit dated. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, if you found this content useful, please give it a thumbs up. That always helps and consider subscribing to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next time.